Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Tim from Five Point Move, and we're going to just take a quick look at Dalton Roberts' bronze match from the Pan Am Championships, as well as Kamal Bay's gold medal match from the Pan Am Championships. Both athletes were involved in poorly officiated matches, and those matches are deserving, for sure, of a closer look. Okay, so here Dalton Roberts is working against Puentes from Venezuela in the bronze match. And Roberts is constantly aggressive. Now, aggression alone is not enough. It has to be effective aggression if you are going to make attempts. They have to be meaningful attempts. Roberts does that here when he comes close on an arm spin. Almost a correct throw. Almost two points. Puentes does a good job of kind of keeping his balance. And then he almost comes with, uh, he has a nice look at a high dive off of Roberts clamping down the head. Yeah, there it is. But for the most part, Roberts was dictating the tempo. It's not American bias. That's why Roberts is who he is. Puentes was capable. Puentes was game. But still, either way, they found a way to screw Roberts. And the way that that happened is a passivity call in the first. It's right here, in fact. Roberts gets a passive point. You see the ref stop the match? Yep, one red. Roberts thinks he's going to take top. What? How do you not take top there? What's going on? <laughs> Did they change the rules? Roberts gives him gives the ref one more look. Watch this. Right before. Whoop. You sure? Okay. And he goes back to work. In the second period, Roberts is called for leading with his head. Not a big problem with that. Not that Roberts is notorious for it, but it happens. It's not the kind of thing you're going to really go too crazy over. It's not that Roberts gets called for passive in the second period. He didn't deserve to get called for passive. You don't have to call one guy passive in the other. It's the fact that they call Puentes, they call Roberts for passivity, and then it's white paddled. And you'll see on the far side of the screen, the official, he's going to white paddle the uh, passive call that comes up in a second. And that's at about a minute and 36, I think. Left in the match, right here. It's white paddled. And then they resume. What is bothersome, this is why officials should not have the power that they do, is instead they, they bang Roberts a little bit later on. not Maybe purposely not leaving him with enough time. I know that sounds like a defeatist attitude. American guy got a score. That's fair, obviously. But give me a break. Now you're going to do it with 70 seconds left in the match. Now you look at Roberts' face. He knows. Incredible. Of course, Puentes had no shot to turn him, and the match ends 1-1 criteria. Kamal Bay's final against Pena is even more egregious. Pena, as you can see here, is just grabbing Kamal's wrist, leaning in. Leaning in with his legs, just leaning forward. That's it. That was the sum of his approach. Look at my son is three years old. He does this to me all the time when I'm in the kitchen, just grabs around my waist and leans against me for no reason. <laughs> Kamal gets a passive point here in the second period. Matt Lady, Matt Ref official on the other side, she holds up the passive point, red passive. Then they got to talk about it, and she, Spider Lady here, runs off the screen. You'll see. Watch. There she goes. <laughs> Everybody hurries to the table because Cuba is upset. Here's the end of the match. It's where it kind of gets a little out of hand. In a, in a second, what? <laughs> I've seen some dumb stuff, but this, especially lately, but this one is just crazy. So, Pena gets called for negative wrestling, which I'm just pleased that they still know what it is. And to be fair about it, the Matt official here was doing his job. Spider Lady over there, she's holding it up. He calls it too. Him, what do you call that? Oh, an underhook now? Now we have an underhook? Okay, so here it is. Pena gets banged for 
Negative wrestling caution too. It's two points for Kamal Bay. Cuba. Tantrums. Tantrums. <laughs> and then they challenge it. They wait a second. They throw in the red baton brick. I don't even know what this thing is. Looks like one of those noodles you put in a, a swimming pool. There it is. Yep. And look at Pena. Yeah, I guess I'll challenge it. Oh, duh. I don't know. Yeah. Towards the end of the match, I think Kamal's obviously now he's on level 40 trying to score. Pena's worn down enough from being passive the entire match to where Kamal actually had some of his best looks here, probably. Seemingly. Of course, Pena comes in with his head in a second, you know, catching Kamal right in the mouth, it looked like. Maybe I'm getting a little ahead of myself here. It's not the point, obviously. It's that this was these two matches are just microcosms of how bad the Pan Ams was. And then they lecture Kamal. <laughs> they bring him to the table after because he got heated a little bit. Listen for yourself. How dare you lecture him after you stole the match from him? How dare you? Be ashamed of yourself. This kind of behavior has to stop. Overall, it was obviously a great couple of days for the U.S. team. Won the tournament, qualified the remaining five weights it had to for the Pan Am Games in the summer. But look at this kind of a behavior has been going on for generations. I get that. Uh, but you know what? We have a voice now, and I think it's about time we use it a little bit more. So... That's it. Yo, be part of the crew. Buy a t-shirt. Just go to 5pointmove.com or look at the bottom of any 5 Point Move article and click on the banner. Or go to barbarianapparel.com in the 5 Point Move store. Thanks for watching and keep supporting USA Greco.